Hi, in this problem we're going to prove this equation, so proof. So to do this we're going to use the binomial theorem. So recall if you have the finite sum as r runs from 0 to n of n choose r times x to the n minus r times y to the r, this is equal to x plus y to the n. This is the binomial theorem, which is a very, very popular theorem in mathematics. And so in order to get zero uh, over here, basically we just set uh, x equal to um, negative y. So basically, um, maybe we can just do something like this. Set uh, x equal to one and y equal to negative one. And then in that case, uh, let's see what happens. So we would get the finite sum as n or r. r runs from 0 to n of n choose r. So x is 1, so we get 1 to the n minus r. y is negative 1, so we get negative 1 to the r. Then over here we get 1 plus negative 1 to the n. Let's keep simplifying. This is the finite sum as r runs from 0 to n. n choose r. So 1 to any power is 1, so we're just going to get a negative 1 to the r here. And this is going to be 0 to the n. I'm going to go ahead and write this in the front because that's what the proof wanted, so I'm just going to put it there. Multiplication is commutative, so no issues. r goes from 0 to n. Then we have negative 1 to the r, n choose r, and 0 to the n is 0. And that completes the proof. That's exactly what we were trying to show. Kind of an interesting problem. Good luck.